Hi guys, welcome back to 21st Century Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble this uh, PlayStation 4 Slim and change the thermal paste to Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste syringe that I have ordered from eBay. Actually recently there were some problems that my PlayStation 4 getting uh, hot and it is turning itself off after giving an error message that the PlayStation unit is too hot so uh, first we have to do we have to remove the warranty sticker so I'm going to remove it actually you have to do it carefully because if you have still have the warranty I'm not advise you to do this this unit is more or more than all the like uh, two years so so my warranty has been expired already so there is no problem for me but if you still have the warranty that means your unit is new so you don't need to do this you don't need to upgrade the thermal paste or clean your unit actually the unit getting hot that is somewhat normal if your unit does not turn itself off after giving an error message like too hot so you don't need to worry about it so it's getting heated that that's that's quite normal in PlayStation 4 so I am I have removed my hard drive after removing the warranty screw actually I think I have broken it but nothing to worry I I can order it uh, the I um, mean the uh, replacement one in eBay that will only cost somewhere around four to five dollars so uh, first of all I need to remove the uh, hard disk screw So uh, it's quite simple actually. This this is a 2.5 uh, hard disk which used for laptops. This unit has a uh, one TB hard drive. If you really want, you can upgrade your hard drive also up to maybe two or four. So uh, that's it. So you need to pull the uh, plastic cover. Just you need to pull the uh, full from the corners so you can simply lift it out so you can see my unit has so much dust and uh, some metal parts has been corroded too so uh, you can uh, one advantage is you can clean the unit fully at the same time so you need to remove the top part also just need to lift it from the corners it will pop out there is no screws attaching so uh, now I need to remove the power unit uh, metal cover so I'm removing that you need to remove the cover before you removing uh, the power unit also you need to remove the Wi-Fi antenna that I'm doing now it holds by a single screw but you still feel this there is so there is a screw other side of the there is a screw the other side of the uh, panel so you need to remove the screw then you can simply lift it off and uh, you need to remove the connector which connected to the motherboard and simply you can detach the power unit so uh, that's done our next step is to turn it other way around and remove the metal plate so i'll show you how to do that turn this other way around and and you need to remove the ribbon cables first so let me remove the ribbon cables first okay and you need to remove the uh, 
Wi-Fi antenna as I said so uh, just just remove carefully there are some stickers that are attaching to your uh, metal plate if you if you remove them uh, re really smoothly uh, it will not damage the stickers but anyway you can you can use some replacement sticker even a tape which needs to be uh, attached to the plate so so I'm removing that okay so it's done one other thing you must do there there is like uh, one connector which connected to the uh, power buttons of the unit so you need to remove that connector too let me show that to you that is the connector so and now you can start removing all the screws there so to it will remove the it will lift off you can then lift off the uh, metal plate which holding and covering the main board you just need to mark those screws before you're removing most of the screws are same size so you don't have to worry about the most but there are some different size screws too so I can simply lift the metal plate now you can see the main board of the uh, PlayStation 4. So uh, now you need to remove this uh, disk drive connector before uh, removing the main board. But first I'll remove the cover of the processor of the APU. So it is two screws which hold in the plate of the APU. So I'm going to remove the two screws. And then you need to remove the uh, disk drive. It's better to use some tool like this so it's, you can simply take it out yeah so it's time to remove the main board okay okay just you can turn it other way around now uh, you need to remove one connector that goes to the Bluetooth antenna. Okay, now you can see you have the heatsink and the APU, which is which has the uh, thermal paste, all the one. So I'm cleaning my main board a little bit for the dusts and other other things. Be careful not to drop those small pieces attached to the ICs, because if if you do that, the ice those ICs are getting hot. Too much hot so it will it can damage the ICs and the main board so be careful not to drop any of those now I'm cleaning my unit because there are some some more dust on the unit now I need to clean the uh, paste all right you don't need to worry much about this side because you can remove that simply but uh, when you're removing thermal paste from the APU you have to be careful because there are some small electronic components that cow yeah so so just be careful you need to do that smoothly just make sure that you you removed each and everything because you don't need to keep some dirt there and just all useless old thermal paste so all right uh, i'm almost done so now i need to get my thermal paste the new one 
the Arctic Silver 5. I have chosen this uh, Arctic Silver 5 because um, there are lots of good comments about it. So guys, if you have any other good thermal paste, please comment below. So I think this is one of the best. So that's the main reason I have chosen this one. Add some uh, thermal paste onto the APU. Don't worry, just like if you add more. So there is nothing happened if even though if you add more and just even that spill outside of the APU that is not a problem now it's done so you need to now uh, place the motherboard okay I'm going to place this now so you need to do that very carefully because you don't need to lose those uh, thermal stickers which are attached on the ICs. Now you can plug the optical drive cable into mainboard, APU cover plate. Simplicity, so then you can reinsert the uh, metal plate. So now I have insert the metal plate and put all the screws and the cables and the ribbon cable. So now I'm putting the hard drive in and everything is done. So you need to make sure those cables are properly connected seems one cable is loose so i'm connecting it back so make sure you you have all connected everything properly put all the screws turn it other way around then you can simply clean the stuffs and put the power unit back in Make sure you have clean everything because this is the best time for you to clean up your PS4. If you are in a very dusty environment, this may be different. One thing, one, one, one thing else you can do, you can clean the fan. I have already done the fan cleaning, so I don't need to worry about it now. But uh, it's better if you clean your fan in the first place. I'm plugging all the antenna cables, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now you can route the cable on the shell. Now you can simply insert the power unit, plug the cable first and you can simply put it there. And then uh, apply all the screws, Wi-Fi antenna screw, okay.
you need to make sure that those are screwed properly Alright, so now is the time to put the metal plate back. Okay. That's not the screw. There are like one side you need to use a different size screw and the other side, right side there is like a shorter screw that you need to use. Alright, so uh, just make sure that you have Put the correct screw there. Okay, now everything done. Now I need to put the plastic covers back. So I have, I have to clean this first because you can see it's not like in a good shape. So I have cleaned it and I have put the cover back. Yeah, that side is done. I think. Uh, All right. Okay, so you need to carefully watch those uh, panels are placed properly. Okay, so you need to simply clip it in as you done before. On the other side there is no screws as I said which are holding these uh, plates to the main board or to the to the frame so you don't have to worry you just need to clip but be careful when you remove in the clip those are those clips will not get damaged so that's it it's done so now I need to place the screws my hard drive screw and the warranty screw so it's right there all right so my warranty screw now Alright guys, so once this is done, you can test the unit. I have tested it, it works well. And when I comparing my... Uh now it's not getting heated very much, so uh, there is no errors. I can use it for a long time, so I think this is the best solution if you get those overheating errors you can stick this sticker back and just use your unit as before I have as I said before I have broken the hard drive uh, panel so I need to order a new one but I'm just putting it back so guys that's all so if you have anything just please comment into our video and please like to our videos and please subscribe to our channel so if you have any problem please let us know we will support you and we will help you. Thank you guys.